Jesus says, my child, my love for you is eternal, but don't take it for granted, beloved child of God. Jesus is trying to tell all of his followers that there's a thin line separating his love from the abuse of the free will that he has given to each and every one of us. You are a child of the holy monarch, and while God loves you unconditionally, God sometimes punishes you. Despite the fact that God's love for you is so great and unshakable, you must realize that love also entails discipline. As you, God uses discipline to teach you justice and righteousness, not to show animosity. Rather, it is a tool to keep you from slipping into the eternal darkness and to help you become a better person when you have to face the consequences of your conduct. Not that God is unforgiving. Rather, it means that he assures justice and that repentance might minimize the severity of the consequence. God is both merciful and compassionate, but he is also just. Even when you repent for your misdeeds, there are still repercussions you must face. Repercussions, although they are not completely eliminated by it. Remember that just because God has forgiven you, doesn't mean that God is cruel. Take the example of David, who was referred to as a man after God's own heart. Although he had a close relationship with God, David still suffered severe punishment for his sins. But this didn't mean that God stopped loving David. Rather, God's discipline was part of his plan to lead David back to righteousness. Just as God's love is so here, the love of God is so great that he always acts in your best interests, even when it may seem harsh to you. Because of this, he cannot tolerate harm being done to others. Therefore, it is essential to treat others as you would like to be treated, feeling their emotions and exhibiting the compassion you desire. Therefore, dear child of God, accept his discipline as a sign of his love and commitment to your growth. Learn from your mistakes and make an effort to live in a way that honors him and respects others. May God richly bless you and grant you the change and totality of his care. Amen.